Hi everybody, Shakoi here. How's everybody doing? I hope you're having a very wonderful Tuesday afternoon or perhaps Wednesday early morning for some. Thank you for tuning in today. So I'm going to respond to people making fun of my glasses. What should I say? I did send a request to Santa, so perhaps let's wait for Christmas to see if Santa is going to answer my request, right? I'll be looking for new glasses under my Christmas tree. But thank you so much for continuing to follow me. So today I want to talk about rejections, criticism, and hard times. So I have a few points to say about those. So point number one, I just want you to know that everything you're going through now is preparing you for the next thing in life. Everything. What is now is connected to your next. So we just wanted you to know that. And and what you do next after your rejections or after your criticism or after your hard time is what you're going to be known for. It is what you're going to be known for. So greater things are coming. So after every darkness, there is light. There is night after, there is morning after every, every, every night, right? And then number two, I want to say that you will never reach your destination if you throw a stone at every barking dog. Every uh, dogs do bark at moving items, so it, sh it should be an indicator that you're doing something. You're moving forward. That's why you're getting all this um, criticism because you're doing something. People don't talk about people that don't do nothing. So you're trying to do something, that's why they are responding to it. It's up to you to respond. It's up to you to in what you invite. It's up to you to, um, it's up to you. <laughs> I can't speak today. Uh, how you respond is dependent on you. That's what I meant to say. So in my village, I don't know in your village or where you come from, dogs that work, that are wild, are called chiamayai. So usually people are very hostile to dogs like that. So they usually say, Kwera, you know, when they, they see dogs barking, they're like, Kwera uko chiamayai. <laughs> so you don't have to respond to every barking dog and you don't have to call it chemaya. It doesn't make it stop barking. And why do dogs bark? Because some of the reasons is, one of the reasons is because they're looking for attention. And sometimes it's because of anxiety. And sometimes it's because they are marking their territory. They are being territorial. So. If you're there and you're doing something good or trying to make a difference or living your life, sometimes people make noise or criticize you because they want attention, they want in. They are like, hello, I'm here. So you don't have to respond. I see a lot of people sometimes take a lot of time to respond to Facebook posts, uh, Facebook posts because somebody criticized you. You have to give your energies to some things. Some things is just you just need to know that why are they barking? Why are they criticizing me? And then respond. Is it because you went to their territory? Is it because they are also wanting your attention? Some people don't know how to reach out. And sometimes people who um, want love ask for it in the most unlikely ways so it's up to you really to just know what is it what's the cause of the criticism what is the cause of the rejection what is the cause of the jealousy and after you know then you probably that should give you peace of mind or should help you take the next action and sometimes when you're criticized um, and you're doing something good, you're pursuing your passion, you're out there doing your thing, don't alter your work for the critic. Because sometimes if you continue altering your work for the critic, you might end up creating a product or, be, or doing something for an imaginary audience. 
who knows there are some people who just criticize for the heck of it and if you alter your work to every time somebody criticizes you in the end you might end up just creating work for an audience that doesn't exist and then number four I wanted to say that you don't have to explain your thick skin so I see people sometimes on Facebook or in social media they go out there and say oh you know I have thick skin I can you know you can not phase me you really don't have to explain thick skin the only way you know you have a thick skin is when somebody tries to prick you and you don't have to respond or res respond to it but show show that you have it show that you have it and because what's uh, because what's now is connected to you, what's next, you should know that God has really great plans for you. I'll give you an example of someone who used her pain to really take it to another level. There's a girl, I don't know if you've seen this in social media, I think her name is Carrie Phillips or something like that. She was bullied in her school a lot because of her dark complexion. And she talked to her grandma about it. And she was transferred by her parents from school to school to help her cope with the, with the bullying. So one time she talked to her grandma about the bullying and her grandma just told her, hey, you need to flex in your complexion. And after that, they took a picture as a family and posted it in one of the social media all of them as a family and a lot of people recognized how flawless the skin of this dark skinned girl was and she got a lot of compliments in the picture they put the word flexing in, a, in my complexion and it caught so much attention it went viral and guess what today that girl has a clothing line called flexing in my complexion Lupita Nyong'o ordered a t-shirt, I think Snoop Dogg ordered a t-shirt and she is making a hundred t-shirts every day and now she has a business and a clothing line flexing in my complexion. So your rejections are your stepping stones for your victory. Use them. What is now, what is happening now is what you will be known for next. So don't worry about it. You know, they say uh, before you shoot an arrow, you have to pull it back with a lot of force. And the, the, the harder you pull back, the further it's gonna go. So with pressure, with rejection, the greater the force, just know the greater you will be launched. You are going to be so launched so far if you have a lot of rejection, if you have a lot of force, if you have a lot of um, things that you're fighting, the force, the rejection, the criticism, the higher it is, the more you, the potential to really shoot up and be launched so far. So don't worry about it. It is what God is going to use to bless you and to launch you so far away. So that's it. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in today. Uh, it is, I think it's 2 p.m. I always come here at 2 p.m. Arizona time. And I'm here at the park just enjoying the sunshine. Again, don't worry about my glasses because I love them. And I love you guys too. Thank you so much for your feedback. Thank you for listening in. Until tomorrow, I think I am counting the days wrong. This is day number... I believe it's 14 or 13, I think 14. So we are almost there. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.